All right. Time to make a burger deck. All right, don't exactly have any points to spare, but we'll give it a shot anyway. All right, that'll be good enough. Pretty, pretty basic, pretty cheap, but you know what? It'll work. It'll work for what we need. We got the 10E engine here. Let me do is some 10 E's on the side. My big boy here is going to be eating him a Big Mac. That's what the plan is today. All right, let's see what kind of opponents. I kind of like to go first, though. I like to go first. Thank you. I like to go first. That's exactly where I want to go. All right. Let's go on in. Oh, yeah. Look at my beautifully mismatched field zone I have. All right. Well, I don't have my boy. Ah, uh, but we have many things. Let's go ahead and just set up some tennies. Yeah, let's make Mascarena. Let's just be doubly protected. I mean, this way I don't have to worry about... I don't know, Regeki or something. That would be really annoying. But I could make my big dude. All's good in the hood. There you go. I think I'm pretty set. You know, I, I don't have any of my floodgates or nothing. But... I do have a big dude... Who can't be destroyed by stuff, unaffected by monsters, and I draw whenever my opponent special up. Well, it's once per turn, but good enough for my book. Good. Uh, pardon? Don Qua? What is this? Paralyzing potion. I'm sorry, is it 1999? And people are playing Paralyzing Potion. I guess they are. I mean, it's clearly there on the board. Okay, well, at least I've got deck thinning the movie, the game. You know, if I can't summon a burger right away, I might as well, at the very least, get other things. So, let's see. Can basic card so many tiny from the deck, except for itself. <laughs> this will work very well. I swear, Hunger Burger is part of the stack, people. You can't tell me he ain't. He just hasn't done things yet. Okay? He's waiting. He's willing. You just have to come through the door. Trust the creepy man at the counter and just say, Can I have a Big Mac? Alright, this guy's pretty weak. Not gonna lie. A Rome Age player not playing too good. So we, we, we can afford it, turn. I, I really want to give it a shot for that Hunger Burger. Okay, first duel. I want to see Hunger Burger right away. I've got all the search in the world. I've got all the deck fit in the world. Where is me recipe for the burger? Attempting to use monster effects in your hand, I see. Well... Uh, no, I banish you. I can banish you from the hand. I don't think you do that. But that's something I can very well do. All right, round two. Let's hope for a better... It's got Tokuribo as his icon. He must be a very respectable player. Look, I'm going to have the perfect hand right here. All right, well, once again, we'll start off with some tennies. I mean, hey, I'm going to have a burger in my hand. Let us special summon a Funa. This sounds like an excellent idea. I kind of low-key wish that this guy looked more like a monkey, but he does not look like a monkey. I guess, like, his sash kind of looks like a monkey. If you squint really hard at it, it looks kind of like a monkey. I don't need to overthink it. I just want to have myself some good times with Tangy Burger. Is that the name of the Ooh, that's actually a great name for the deck. Tenny Burger. I want to eat it. Tenny Burgers, Mama. I don't want to eat it. Mickey D's. Mickey D's is garbage. I want to eat it. Tenny Burger. Okay, actually, that's fine. You destroyed my set card. That activates its effect, allowing me to summon out. Um, Lanfolinkus. Because reasons, I can summon Lanfolinkus. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my other Berserker. That would be wasteful. That would be silly, but now I have a Lampalinkus. What say you to that, sir? Well, then. Uh, I am glad I have text to stop this nonsense. This is what happens when you play this game so long. You you run the text for things to stop the things. Without even thinking that you'll need to out the things. Uh, so my special summon... Adhara. Hado. Very nice to meet you. And then I make, uh, this thing. Hey, yes. See, blowing up my set card is gonna come back to haunt you, little boy. I have the power of a unicorn on my side now. 
Okay, I wasn't 100% ready for the uh, regeki, as much as I'd like to say I was ready for the regeki. But I was ready for the regeki, baby! Did you think I wasn't going to be ready for the regek? I mean, I lose one Sathana, which is not ideal, but, you know, he only has two cards left in his hand. I'm making my opponent use up their resources. This is a critical part of the game. Just eat up resources. Get yourself some hungry burger, people. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Yes, please. I would like myself a Big Mac. Actually, if I do this, I think I'm good, because if I banish that dude, I can summon that dude, who is like... I mean, he's moderately large enough. I mean, that, that's enough damage, right? That's enough damage. But, like, if I use that as material, I can summon out the Monkey Man. And then, I can banish that dude to, like... Bounce this and avoid Cyber Jar. Is Cyber Jar legal in this format? I don't think it is, but I'm going to presume that it is. And everyone gets a shot in. Alright, there you go. Proof of concept done, people. Hungry Bane again. <laughs> Level up. I mean, it's only Silver 4, and that doesn't really mean anything, but... It's a big old but... I managed to summon the Hungry Belger, and I won with it. So there you go, that, that's all I was trying to do, and that's what I did. Let's keep doing it. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have thrown in one copy of Baguska into the extra deck. That would have probably been a good idea. Because then I could have, like... I don't know, had a Baguska in case things went horribly, horribly wrong. Which, to be fair, I don't think is going to happen, but at the same time, probably one Baguska in place of a Lanphalinkus would have been a smart move, but whatever. I don't always make the greatest deck decisions. What do you want from me? You want my blood? I will give you my blood. Hungry Burger, there he is. Alright, we'll go ahead and set... Couple cards, bait out, any sort of lightning storms, things of that nature. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a powered up version of my boy. It's a powered up version of the boy. Because not only will he be indestructible, he's still a normie monster. So, you know, uh, he still keeps all the benefits. It's a new and improved monkey man. Alright, sir, who is probably a Dragon Maid player. In silver, by the way. What you call a tryhard, I believe. One of them in tryhards. Ah, see, Regek. He's trying to Regek a powered up Berserker. Nope. Wind, which is. Interesting. I mean. Can't be destroyed by card effects, but you can still be beaten in battle, so it's like... That, yeah, that normally would work, my dude, but it doesn't really work in this situation. Not especially. I mean, unless you're going to make Trishula in this, and I don't know... Can you do that? Uh, no, you can only summon Wind Monsters. You can't even make Trishula. You amateur. Unless it's a level 9 Wind Sink... Oh, wait, no, he can make Mistworm. Which I'd be fine with. I love Mistworm. That's one of my favorite Synchro Monsters of the old era. Very underrated. Uh, Lightning Chidori. Okay. Oh. Uh, target face of card opponent control. Turn it to the top of the deck. Ouch. No, the top of the deck. I hate that place. Okay, I don't think this is going to end too well. I feel like I may have prepared too much and now i'm about to get hurt really bad not good folks not good at all that is uh that's like four more monsters than i have what, what are you making now oh yeah this is the part where i well, where i get my butt kicked i think all right that duel was a bit of a mess match let's uh try another one shall we let's uh okay we get to go first again very nice very nice Alright, I just need to start with, like, where, where are those floodgates? I thought I would need those floodgates. I don't know, maybe I don't need floodgates to win with this deck. Let, let's see what the game thinks. Do I need floodgates? 
Uh, no, but I do need a bunch of these. Okay. I mean, it'll work. I kind of wish I had that Baguska. Other than that, I think no, maybe. I think. I don't remember. It's just like searching a card, right? And he has nothing on the field, so yeah, that doesn't do anything good. That does nothing good for him. That is, yeah, they have Stella. What does this do? Does nothing, because he links it away for Almirage. Ah, because he has Parallel Exceed. Um, sure. Let's just stop Parallel Exceed in its tracks. I don't need him to have no rank 4 nonsense going. None of that stuff. There you go. Should have summoned a monster. Alright, should have summoned a monster. Now he's got a bunch of back row himself. Oh no, Jimmy. That's a bit of a tall order. What do we got? A Safana number 2? You gonna play that trap that lets you summon more monsters? Uh, take excess from the bench to summon himself above that. Okay. I think that's okay. Because all it does is summon monsters. It's not like they're going to do anything, right? Okay, and I still have my normal summon. So what we're going to do here... I cannot make Mascaren. Oh yeah, because I can't use Lynx. Right. I will say I was a little disappointed. I was hoping this guy would Lightning Storm me, but uh, nope. I'm, ex I'm just planning for things that people aren't playing. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong to play this. I just thought... With floodgates and things, that it would be a good idea to have some protection. But apparently, I was very mistaken. Alright, but we have ourselves our Berserker of the Tennies. So that's good. So I can ignore these, because they'll just go back into his deck anyway. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You do something? What is this? Lost Wind. Don't be telling me I'm no effect monster. I gained some effects. That don't make me an effect monster. Okay? Normal monsters represent. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave your monsters alone, because they just go back into your deck anyway, and I don't need to worry about them. Those two less monsters you have access to. Oh, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, well, no Hungry Burger in sight until I get my pre-prep. Let's just start telling you! And your silly little things. Uh, if you don't access to if your point doesn't move the thing, blah, 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 I don't care. It's like, I don't give a shite. No monster effects allowed. It's gonna cost you the power of deck fitting, ladies and gents. See, this is why we're doing the tenny thing. It's like, I've got the ability to not only set up the grave like crazy, but I can also just, like, search out the wazoo, deck fin out the wazoo. It's a pretty nutty. Let's just get rid of this thing. Making Virtan Arconda, you say? An interesting tech. I suppose, I mean, he gets this, but the thing is, its effects are negated, he doesn't become level 4, and Verte doesn't do jack shite, so it's not like he's dropping no, not dropping no de pet at me, no dra de destroy Phoenix Boy. He ain't showing up, no, 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 we ain't dealing with that. Go on, Burger Boy, get yourself a big old map. I don't have my Big Mac again, but uh, it's it's coming. Okay, we've done it once. We can do it twice. Maybe even do it thrice. Do again. All right, let's go for one more duel. I think one more is good enough. We'll be able, we've shown off most of what this deck can do anyway, so I think one more should be good. I mean, this opening hand's at least something. I've got my boy. I've got my Tenny. I've got the blue. I, I mean, what you call him? Now, how to here? It's clearly the pickles of the group. Still trying to decide what Sathana is supposed to be. Sathana is the Italian. She's the blue sauce. She's the special blue sauce. All right, that'll do. You know, we'll wait for a hungry better girl. All we need is a pre-prep, and we're pretty set. All's good in the hood. I mean, we've got our big boy. Now we just need big boy burger. Ah, uh, oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, Fluffles, and I... <laughs> I do the one thing that's not going to save me against Fluffles. Like, if he makes Ktak, and I'm pretty sure I am uh, screwed. Because I can just send this to the ground. Ah, dang it. Dang it all, I'm prepared for field nukes, not targeted non-destruction removal. 
You can't do this to me. Okay, no, he's making something up. What is this? Uh, try to face a motherfucking control, destroy and play damage. Okay, that doesn't. That don't, that don't work on me. I use mascot and uh, I use protection. All right, he will. All, all I did was make Sabretooth. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to rip on Sabretooth too much. It's a pretty nice monster. Uh, unfortunately, I can just bounce the darn thing. Unless, of course, he has, um... What, what was it called? The Edge M Scythe or whatever? Oh, what the hell? What the hell are you? I don't know. We'll never find out. Dang it, I was so close to Burger. I was so close to Burger. That's just cheap. All right, well, honestly, I think that's going to be good enough. I mean, we got to show off the Burger in a duel. We got to show off the Tenny engine. Y'all have seen the Tenny engine, but the, the deck... As long as your opponent's not playing some crazy BS, it's, it, it'll this deck will do you just fine. Just summon some tennies and have yourself a good time with it. Summon Hungry Burger. That's all you need. Summon Hungry Burger. That's all you need. Although I did think maybe uh, Psychic Sword would be good in this deck. Where is Psychic Sword? This thing might be good too. It does make monsters big. I don't know. But regardless, there's the video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed yourself some burger time.